Hey, welcome back to the channel. The summer of 2022 has been extremely busy with travel. We were at a different campground every other weekend, and we were extremely excited to stay here at Dingman Campground because we love the Pocono Mountains, and it is close to Dingman Falls, as well as a new waterfall that I wanted to see, which is Buttermilk Falls. Everything started out great, but quickly turned into a horror film as soon as darkness set in, and I was almost scared to death. But before we get to that, let's run down some quick information on the campground. Damon Campground is located in the very eastern edge of Pennsylvania in the Delaware Water Gap on the border of New Jersey. And it is a great location if you're looking for waterfalls because it is close to Bushkill Falls, Damon Falls, and the Buttermilk Falls. One of the reasons we were excited about camping at this campground is because the rates are reasonable at less than $50 per night for water and electric for a camper. The tent rates seem high though at $44 per night in the forest and $62 for on the river. For $62 you are directly on the river though, which would be pretty awesome if you were wanting to kayak and participate in water activities. Oh, it must be over. Caution, drive slowly. Alright. Oh, there's the river right over there. right on the river. Here is a map of the campground. As you can see there is a large number of tent sites and a good number of RV sites. We were in site 65 if I remember correctly. Now the website does advertise Wi-Fi however when we were here it did not work. We asked the camp store for the password and they indicated that the Wi-Fi had been broken since Memorial Day weekend and it still had not been fixed yet. That was two months earlier, so if the Wi-Fi is important to you, call ahead as they don't seem to fix things too quickly. If you are tenting it, they do have very nice bathhouses and appear to be fairly new. The thing that I was most excited about when booking during the campground trip was that it was in a heavily wooded area and reminded me of camping with my parents as a child. Lots of trees, dirt lots, and roads, and during the day, it was awesome. They also have this nice trail next to the campground which we spent some time walking on. It really was a perfect day. We then headed back to the campsite and made dinner and settled in for a campfire and some s'mores. By the time we had finished the s'mores, the sun had fully set and it was completely dark. So we had our headlamps on and we were sitting by the fire. Captain Wifey got bit by something on her foot. Don't really understand why she proceeds to keep wearing sandals at night by the fire, but she does. So she was getting ready to go inside the camper when I turned on my headlamp and a very large flying insect got caught in a spider web on my head and proceeded to fly into my face in and out of the headlamp. It was like I was being attacked by a freaking pterodactyl. I proceeded to swat it away at which time I knocked a large spider off my head which landed on my leg and then I quickly squished it. I proceeded to continue to remove the spider webs from the top of my head and we quickly grabbed our stuff and headed into the camper. The spider seemed to be wrapping my head in its web. While heading back to the camper, we had to dodge several other large spiders, which were coming down out of the trees. Craziest experience of my life and freaked me out. I typically am not scared of spiders, but this place freaked me out. It was like a real life arachnophobia movie. The next morning, we packed up and headed back home. This place needs to hire an exterminator. I am all for being out in nature and understand that there are spiders, snakes, creatures out there. But this is far beyond anything that I have experienced before in all my years traveling around the country and even tent camping in the wilderness. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up.